back to our big Halloween spectacular. We're, tonight we're going crazy, aren't we, Reds? Things are out of control, man. Oh, they're out of control. And I tell you, it is cold outside. How cold is it? Uh, it is uh, It is so cold. There you have it. Uh, what time is it, Reds Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who saw the movie Horns with Daniel Radcliffe in it. And that's about it. That's about it. Uh, should we play our own jingle? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, let's do our own jingle. All right. Uh, tweets and emails. Tweets. Tweets. <laughs> tweets and tweets and emails. Emails. You ready, Reds? Yeah. Balls. All right. <laughs> Ah, let's see here. We got some legit emails here. Uh, our first email comes from Nick Giannata. You ever heard of him? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, Giannata, yeah, absolutely. He's a big time fan. Uh, Where's he from? Where's he from? Uh, doesn't say, but I think he's local. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Phil and Rudds. How do you decide whether to read an email or to throw it away without reading? Uh, next email is uh, from Christopher from Dover. You, you ever been to Dover? Oh, all the time, man. Oh, so you have, been, you have been to Dover. I've been to Dover a, a few times in college, actually. Uh, Do I bet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you interrupted me just like that time I, 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 I've been to Dover. <laughs> uh, this next, yeah, from Christopher from Dover. Hi, uh, dear Phil and Rudds. What are your plans for Halloween? Oh, we were just talking about that. And, uh... I don't know. I mean, seeing as it's it's Halloween right now in your region, and uh, it's after midnight, what day does that make it? <laughs> um, we get a good shot at the uh, 29th, the 30th, 31st, or the 1st. We're live, so. So, uh, <laughs> it's one of those days. So, if anything, us being live, there's some points that we need to remember. Uh, you know, uh, don't date the show. Uh, Absolutely not. Make sure uh, you know where you're going with a sketch, and uh, you know keep it classy. And you know around here we keep it classy. Sirs, we're pretty uh, we're pretty solid right there. Uh, this next email is from Sarah from London. Uh, you ever been there? Oh, Sarah, absolutely. Hi, Phil and Rudds. How many hours a week would you say you spend writing the scripts for the show? <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We can't script this crap. Trust me. If we could, we would. Uh. We have a double from Nick Giannata. It's the same question, though. But if you will notice, Colin, or, uh, no, Colin was back in Germany. Sorry. Nick is, uh, he's a tit. <laughs> I am Niklaus. I am from Germany. I am a tit. Oh, you were going all German. Oh, we gotta, we gotta do the, the thing. Uh, one ding. We are German. We are German. You, st you ding it once and we are German. Uh, two dings. We are still German. We are still German. Nicholas from uh, Colin from Germany and Nicholas, who is a tit. Uh, three dings. Uh, uh, Dracula. Oh, we are Dracula. Welcome to the Halloween spectacular. We are Dracula. Nick is a tit. Uh, four dings. Ooh, uh, that is uh, Italian uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, tutti frutti ice cream. Uh, five. Which is... No, now that is room service. Room service, which is unfortunate because they usually call the Late Late Show, but they don't have our numbers, so there's really nothing we can... Oh, oh my... Here we... Hold on. All right. Hello. Ah, uh, hello, sir. This is, uh, this is Jerry from room service. Jerry from room... How did you get this number, Jerry? Uh, that, that's not important, sir. I was just watching the show tonight. Just watching the show, and uh, I'd like to say that it was a uh, real, uh, real, real good. Real, uh, real catchy. I like it. Are you sure? Because I feel, I feel like we're a little out of our element. We're a little biting off more than we can chew. I, I, I don't know. What do you... Well, uh, you know, to, to, to be honest, sir, I got, a, I got another gentleman in here right now below a, below the table, and he's uh, biting off more than he can chew at the moment. Oh, so. J Jerry. Oh, I'm, Jer I, I, I'm sorry, sir. J J I, think, I, I think I might have to go. I think they just ood you. Oh, uh, uh, click. <laughs> oh, my God, man. It was, it was Jerry. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> what was he up to? Oh my god, that was incredible. He was uh, he was on a dinner date with somebody. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that right there in case someone else decides to call. You never know, because we're you know we got season two money. We're kind of a big deal now. No, so. oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, the phone is just ringing off the hook again. Uh, hello. Hey, 
hey, uh, Phil, it's uh, Richie Philbin here. Richie Philbin. Look, look, I talked to NBC. They gave me back Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You gotta come on. You you're, gotta come on. You're back on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Well, to be honest, they're calling it Who Wants to Be a Thousand Millionaire. <laughs> thousand Dollar Millionaire. Okay, read re- just. <laughs> are, are you off your medicine again? <laughs> oh, okay, I was kidding. Kidding. It's, uh, it's Don Rickles. It's Don Rickles. I was doing my best Regis impression. And, Don, uh, and, uh, Don Rickles. <laughs> and I, I gotta say, uh, I have a game show. You just, you just come on and, and try and bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> oh, my God. Who are you talking to over there, Mr. Pete? Oh, I, I, it's just, I, I think it, it's either Regis or, or Don Rickles or... A, but now, now that you mention it, it this is, first this is Regis, then it's Don Rickles. This is Miriam, isn't it? Oh, you know it is, oh, you dirty Miriam, boy. <laughs> Miriam, you're not allowed to call the Late Late Show. You're not allowed to call Fullerton at the midnight. Don't, stop calling her, you old bitch. Oh. Man. I'm still here, Craig. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> that woman is off her rocker. Doesn't know where she's calling. Can you believe? That? I can't. I can't believe that at all. That is. That is incredible. I can't believe we have a show. Ah, <laughs> uh, Miriam, she's calling the late late show. She's calling us. It just. It truly is a Halloween spectacular. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, back to tweets and emails. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got. Uh, Unless another caller. Unless another caller rings in. I hope they don't. How are we supposed to take another call with all these? Oh, a gust of wind. Oh, uh, oh, there's the phone too. Hello. Are you talking to me? Who is this? Are you talking to me? Oh my God, is this Robert De Niro? Yeah, that's right. I forgot my own name for a second. Are you still talking to me though? I, I, yeah, I, well, I, I am talking to you since it's on a the phone. There's no one else in the room. I need you to, uh, I need you to hang up the phone. I'll break the legs. <laughs> You need to hang up the phone. I'm trying to make another call. You calling from a payphone? Yeah, what does it look like? I don't know. I mean, we're, still on, like... we're still on the phone. <laughs> hang up the phone. All right, it's probably for the best because this show is going downhill. Click. <laughs> I don't know where it became a thing where people could just say click and they're off the phone, but uh, that was that was Robert De Niro. That is incredible. How do you think he knows about the show? Do you think he watches YouTube? I bet. Well, I'm sure he's a fan, absolutely. Well, well, I mean, I know I'm not, but uh, no, no, he no. might be. I wouldn't watch this crap. Uh, what, uh, so what do you want to do before we get out of here? Want to have a harmonica battle? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I can do that. All right, get ready for it. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Well, Rob, that's uh, that's the end of our Halloween spectacular. What did what'd you think overall? No, I thought it was good. Uh, frightening, frighteningly uh, bad. No, I, well, I, I don't know. I mean, we you know, for the audience, we were trying something a little different. Floyd's after midnight as the Late Late Show because Craig Ferguson of the Late Late Show is a, a big inspiration for what we do here. And uh, if we came even even close to doing a decent job of emulating that chaotic genius, then I, I say we did a good job. I'd say it was terrifyingly mediocre. That's what we strive for here, but, uh, you know, if you didn't like it, well, then uh, you're fired. I'm fired? I thought I hired you back when I was alive. That's, that's the thing that I love about the core of Foles After Midnight. It's a show that consists of two people both having the power to hire and fire. <laughs> but uh, no, I think, I think, I think we're going to be okay. What do, you, what do you say after this, maybe later on, we, we do maybe like a Christmas-themed episode? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this again. Good night, everybody. Bulls. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs>